we keep on seeing notations for non-deterministic finite automaton representation. The representation of a non-deterministic finite automaton by means of a tuple differs from the one for a deterministic finite automaton since in the first case we can have a set of initial states. Moreover, the transition function now has to be understood as a function that, given a state and a symbol, returns a subset of the set of states that contains all the states that can be reached from the given state after reading the given symbol. Similarly, it can also be understood as a subset of this Cartesian product, containing the triple state symbol state, such that from the first state we can reach the second with the symbol. We can extend the transition function to be applied to a set of states and a symbol. This extension is defined as follows. The image of a pair set of states symbol is the union of the images of each of the states in the set and the symbol. Intuitively, this tells us to which states we can go if we are in any of the states of a fixed set. We can extend even more the transition function to sets of states and words and not necessarily the words of the alphabet. This is done analogously to the case of the deterministic finite automaton. Lambda leaves us exactly where we are, and the concatenation of two words takes us to the resulting state of first applying the first word and then the second one. The intuition is the same as before. The result is a set of states that can be reached from a certain word and starting from some state in a concrete starting set. With these definitions, we can define the language accepted by a non-deterministic finite automaton A as the set of words for which there exists an accepting execution starting from any of the initial states. Let's see now that the determination process that we already know can be easily applied using the table. On the left, we have the tabular representation of the non-deterministic finite automaton of the previous video. What we have on the right is the result of determinizing the table on the left. Remind that what we do, intuitively, is to construct a deterministic finite automaton that simulates all possible executions of the original non-deterministic finite automaton. Initially, our non-deterministic finite automaton can be in states A and C. That's why we call AC to our initial state. From A with lowercase a, we can reach both A and B. From C, we cannot go anywhere. That's why, after reading a lowercase a, we must remember that we are either in A or B. That's why we'll call this state AB. From A with B, we can reach A. From C, we can't go anywhere. That's why, from state AC with a lowercase b, we'll end up in A. Since we created states a and AB, we must now consider the transitions. This is done analogously to how we already commented, and checking that the rest of the table is correct is left as an exercise. Note that we mark as accepting states the states whose name contains any accepting state of the previous table. Intuitively, with this, we point out that at least one of the executions with the word that has been read until now takes us to an accepting state. Let's see now, briefly, an extension of non-deterministic automata that is based on allowing lambda transitions. That's why this kind of automata are called lambda non-deterministic finite automata. A lambda transition is a transition labeled with the empty word. When this transition is executed, we go from this state to this one without reading any symbol of the input. When we are in this state, Non-deterministically, we can choose whether to execute this transition. Hence, automata with lambda transition may have several executions for the same input, as happened with non-deterministic automata in general. The notion of acceptation for lambda non-deterministic finite automata is the same as for non-deterministic automata. That is, an automaton accepts a word if there exists an accepting execution for that word. Despite the apparent increase in expressive power, in fact lambda automata are as expressive as finite deterministic automata, which means that they can just recognize regular languages. Any automata with lambda transitions can be transformed into one without lambda transitions 
recognizing the same language. Let's see briefly how it is done in general. Since our goal is to remove land transitions while preserving the language, we have to make some extensions to the automata. In first place, if there is some path of land transitions that takes us from one state to another, and from this one we end up in a third one by reading an A symbol, then we add a transition with A from the first state to the third one. Note that we could go from the first to the third state reading A by executing first the lambda transitions. We are just looking ahead and going there directly to be able to get there even after the removal of lambda transitions. Secondly, if there is a path made of lambda transitions that take us from one state to another and the second one is an accepting state, then we have to mark the first one as accepting also. Note that for any execution that takes us to the first state, there exists another one that takes us to the last state, extending the first execution with the execution of the lambda transitions. Hence, any word that takes us to the first state must be accepted. What we do is look ahead again and accept the word once we reach the first state, since after the removal of lambda transitions, we may not be able to reach the second state with the same word. Once these changes are done, we can remove all lambda transitions and the language is preserved.